Welcome to module nine, lesson one. Our I can statement is, I can find the area of a rectangle by using the formula for area. So today we're gonna work on learning the formula to find area of a rectangle. All right, number one. Sports fans use banners to show support. How can you find the area of the banner? So before we even get started, we need to answer question A. What does it mean to find the area of a flat surface? So what is the area? If we look over here, this is giving us the banner. The area is what is inside. Now we've already worked on perimeter this year, which is the outside edge. The area is what is inside. So how would we find the area? It means we're finding the number of unit squares that cover the surface. Or how many squares are inside that flat surface. Now we say unit squares because sometimes we're using units Sometimes we're using meters, sometimes we're square, using inches. So finding the number of unit squares that cover the surface. And in order to do that, we need to think about the measure of the sides of the rectangle. Letter B asks us, how many unit squares make up the length and the width of the rectangle? The length of the rectangle is seven units. The width of the rectangle is four units. So we can say length is seven units and the width is four units. All right, letter C is asking you to count the number of unit squares to find the area. So go ahead and count up the squares that are inside this rectangle. Pause if you need more time. All right, and we find that there are 28 unit squares. Now, what is the relationship between the length and width of the air and the area? What's the relationship between seven and four and 28? This is what the question is asking us. What can we do with these three numbers? The area is equal to the length times the width. Now we know this just from doing an area model, right? When we've been solving using multiplication and area models, if that's 10, two times 10, right? That length and width give us the area inside. So when we're finding area of a rectangle, we're thinking about the same thing. All right, letter E, how can you, describe a mathematical rule or a formula that you would use to find the area of the rectangle. Write the formula. Represent the length with L and the width with W. So this is very similar to what we wrote up here. We have A for area equals length times width. Over here, you're gonna find, sometimes you're gonna see the formula written like this. A equals B times H. B being the base of a rectangle, and H is the height. So if your rectangle is like this, here's your base, and it says the height of the rectangle is the measure of a side perpendicular, you see we have our right angle showing perpendicular to the base. For the most part though, we're gonna use 
length times width. Okay, so now we need to use the area formula to find the area of the banner. The length was 7, the width was 4. We know that 7 times 4 is 28. So the rectangle has an area of 28 square units. Let's go ahead and do the second question. The Hawks fans are making a giant banner for a competition. The banner has the dimensions shown. What is the area of the banner? Right, first, we need to fill in the formula. Our formula is area equals length times width. So what is the length and what is the width? The length of our banner is seven meters and the width of our banner is five meters. So the area is 35. Our unit is meters, but because we're working in area, it's square meters. Remember, it's like saying unit square, right? This isn't 35 this way. It means it's 35 square units. So the area of the banner is 35 square units. So let's look at this last question here. How would the area of the banner change if the banner was turned so the width is seven meters and the length is seven meters, if it was this way? Would it change? <clears throat> It would not change, right? This is like our commutative property. Seven times five is equal to five times seven. So the area will remain the same even if we rotate the shape. Right, go ahead and complete the check under Zimi. Press pause and press play when you're ready to check your work. Right, let's go ahead and check our work. For number one, we find the area of the yard is 450 square feet. You can see my multiplication right here. Number two, the area is 54 square meters. Okay, notice the M. And three is 100 square feet. 